No question. So our summer road trip is continuing. This morning, Mike and Natalie are going to the lake in Battle Lake. Now, Battle Lake is just about two and a half hours northwest of the Twin Cities. And as we've seen on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram yesterday, there is plenty to do up there, Mike and Natalie. You guys have just been, uh, you've just been <laughs> nailing it, having fun. It's been a, yeah, it's been a full schedule. I mean, there, there are a lot of different things to do in the town mm -hmm. and on the lake. But, you know, there are those days that maybe you don't want to be in the lake, you can't be on the lake, or you just want to kind of learn something. A little bit. And we have a place where you can do that. Yeah. So there's a Civil War Museum, and it was originally a fine hotel. Then it was the home to the Caps family. Then it became a museum, and it is on the historic registry. It's run entirely by the Caps' great-grandson, Jay Johnson. Yeah, that's uh, Civil War veteran Cap Kolauer and uh, the house has 18 rooms filled with five generations of one family's treasures. This is a very unique museum in the aspect that it's got nothing but family stuff in it. Everything you see in the museum was found right here on this property. It's really an amazing collection. When this phone was put in here in 1929, our phone number was five. My mother was 11 years old when she went to the Chicago World's Fair in 1933. It's called a century of progress because Chicago was started in 1833 at Fort Dearborn. It was a live turtle that she bought at the World's Fair and sent it home on the train for her grandparents to take care of. On this postcard, my 11-year-old 11, 11 mother says, Dear Cap and Grandma, did you get my turtle? Please feed it cracker crumbs. Well, it turned out this paint was toxic to these young turtles, and Andy died on the way home. But his head is still sticking out the other end, and this family wouldn't want to throw away a perfectly good dead turtle, so we saved that too. Probably the most interesting thing that really got me going on sorting out this family's memorabilia is when I found a chest on the third floor with nearly 200 Civil War letters in it. And then I started to find Civil War things all over the house. And now my great grandfather I have found left behind one of the larger private collections in the state of Minnesota, and that's in the basement. Surgeon's report describing my great grandfather's bullet wound in his left shoulder at Muscle Shoals, Alabama, and he wrote on top of it, blood from wound received at Muscle Shoals, January 25th, 1864. I've got my great grandfather's blood uh, DNA in two different places. This is a sleeve to his uniform with bullet holes in each shoulder where he was shot. The Bible that he was carrying when he was shot. Right in the middle is Gone with the Wind. That's the actual dog tent that he was sleeping in in Atlanta when he was burning the town down in 1864. Doesn't get any more Gone with the Wind than that. His cartridge box with bullets still in it, his two Civil War diaries, his powder flask and percussion cap box, and his Civil War shoe is very rare and that one's good enough to wear. It was so valuable to Cap that when his house caught fire next door, he and Kate ran out of the house Kate told him to go back in and save the silver. Cap went back in and got his shoe and his rifle and said to heck with the rest of it. So Jay told us that he brought some of the Civil War letters that he has yeah. to the Antiques Roadshow, and they said that they're so valuable they literally could not put a price on them. I mean, it pays to hang on to things. To be a pack rat? A little a pack bit of a pack rat? We say that in the that. nicest possible yeah, way. Yeah, absolutely. I think about all the stuff I've given away over the years. Right. Nothing as valuable as what they have, but you mm. know, you can appreciate it or your family can appreciate it you down mean, the road. You don't have any Civil War know. uniforms with bullet holes in no them? No dead turtles that have no. been preserved. Nothing I just like have that. like stuffed animals from when I was four. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Take it to the Antiques Roadshow, right, we'll you see. never know. So if you want to go to the museum, it opened to the public in 2010, and kids are free if they're under 12 years old. Five bucks for adults. Um, kids do have to be accompanied by an adult yeah, as well. Yeah, and Jay also gives personal tours pretty much every day, and you can find a, a way to get in touch with him by going to WCCO.com slash links. How about that, guys? Isn't that crazy? Wow, I love that his stories were so detailed. And I yes. don't know, Natalie, the, he saved a shoe that was very valuable. I bet, you know, maybe some high school Natalie <laughs> shoes. Look at those shoes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Those are awesome. Well, you know, I do have a Hill Priceless. Murray black shoe or two <laughs> there you go. that is sitting around. It's walked on the heels. Valuable and... to a very small subset of the population, <laughs> but small. valuable nonetheless. We don't want to talk about those Just people either, do we? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, boy. That took a turn. Uh, <laughs> it did, but you know, from That's the Civil fine. War to whatever, why not? Yeah. Hey,